Hey busy bees, it's Nate's birthday and we are going on a picnic. The past few days have been kind of rainy and stormy here so finally today the sky opened up, the sun is shining and we thought we would take the baby and the dog out to celebrate. I made all of his favorite foods and we decided to share the day with you guys too. If you guys love picnics be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe below and we'll get started with the birthday birthday brownie cuz that's the piece de resistance. Okay, I'm gonna start with a pot of boiling water and then I'm gonna put a heat safe bowl right on top. Next, I'll add in one stick of butter and after it melts a little bit, I'll add in one cup of bittersweet chocolate chips. I'll stir it gently as it melts down more and once it's almost done melting, I'll pull it off heat and continue stirring until I have a glossy chocolatey finish. Now I'll add in half a cup of sugar, mix it together, mix, mix, mix. Then I'll add in a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extract for some added sweetness. Continue mixing. Then I'll add in two eggs and one egg yolk. If you like your brownies cakey, go ahead and add in the three whole eggs. I like it kind of fudgy, so I'm just adding the third additional yolk. So it's totally your call. Now I'll give it a good mix again, and then I'll add half a cup of flour, change my tool to a spatula, and I'll fold it until my batter forms. Gently does it. All right, now it's time to add our raspberries. I'm just adding half a cup in here, and I'll just fold and disperse them evenly. Then I'll add it to my baking pan that I've already lined with parchment paper. The parchment paper acts as a sling so that I can just pop it out later. Also, it's easy cleanup. I'll spread the batter evenly, get into those corners, and the rest of my raspberries, I'll just decorate them on top. It's gonna come out beautifully later. All right, now I'll bake it in an oven at 325 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Ta-da! Look at those raspberries. They're still intact and they look like jewels. Gorgeous. Okay, so the most important part of the picnic is done. So I'm gonna get started on my side dish. So Nate loves all things curry, including Steph. I personally prefer Aisha, but hey, whatever. Anyways, so we're gonna be making a curried quinoa salad that is so colorful, healthy, and super delicious. First, I'll start by making the dressing. In a bowl, I'll add in one clove of garlic that I've already minced one teaspoon of minced ginger, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of honey, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of curry powder, and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Now I'll start whisking it, and then gradually add in a quarter cup of olive oil. I'll just continue whisking until it emulsifies and thickens, like this. Finally, I'll season it with some freshly cracked pepper, give it another whisk, and I'll set it aside. Any leftover dressing can be saved or repurposed. This dressing would actually be delicious on a green salad or even just over chicken too. I use this over basically anything that needs a little bit of spice to it. All the prepping is done, so now it's time for us to assemble our salad. Super easy, right? In a large bowl, I have two and a half cups of quinoa that I've already cooked. Then I'll add in half a cup of shredded carrots, two stalks of chopped green onions, one cup of garbanzo beans I've already rinsed and drained, half a cup of dried cranberries, wait, I gotta insta-story this, a quarter cup of chopped cilantro, and a quarter cup of sliced almonds. Give it a good mix. Ooh, ooh. I love it when the colors come together. It's like confetti salad. And then we'll just drench it with our curry dressing. Let's give it a good mix and I'll pack some into our jars. Ready for the road, these are perfect for transport. And stylish too. I got these glass jars in the bulk section at Whole Foods. Our salad is done, check. So let's move on to our wrap star, which is a healthy lime cilantro chicken wrap. On a baking sheet lined with some foil, I'll just add two chicken breasts, Season it with some salt, pepper, and a drizzle of olive oil. I'll just do this on both sides, really flavor that sucker. Flip them back over, and then I'll just bake them in the oven at 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. 
Make sure they're fully cooked. All done. Once they've cooled a little bit, I'll just give them a rough chop. I like to cut them into chunky cubes. Look how tender they are. Throw them into a bowl, and now I'll add in one cup of black beans, already rinsed and drained, a quarter cup of chopped cilantro, one avocado that I've already cubed, two teaspoons of kosher salt, juice from half a lime, and half a cup of full fat Greek yogurt for flavor. I'll mix it until everything comes together. Perfect. And now we'll put together our wrap. I have a burrito sized tortilla. I'll sprinkle on some shredded white cheddar. You can use your favorite cheese here, anything goes. I'll spread on a healthy portion of our chicken salad. And then I'll hit it with some chili powder for some extra heat and flavor. Hitting it with the chili powder at the end really kind of gives it a pop of flavor when you finally bite into it. You could mix this into the yogurt sauce, but I feel like it gets lost in there. Um, so this is how I prefer to do it. Now it's time to wrap it up. Wrap it up, cut it in half. And here, let me show you guys. Look at all those chunks of chicken. You get a nice hunk of chunk of avocado right there and some beans. For all you meal planners out there, this chicken wrap lasts for a few days. Um, what I usually do is just keep the chicken separate and when I'm ready to eat, I'll just assemble it in the tortilla. And you guys, as you let it sit, the flavors develop more and more and it's just so delicious and healthy too. Super perfect for meal planning. Fairly light and filling. Now I'm just gonna pack it into my container. Oh, and before we go, I need to cut up the brownies. Cut them into thirds. Large squares here, large squares here. Check it out, guys. I love how that raspberry just sunk into the brownie. Even though it's his birthday and this is his birthday brownie, I need to make sure that this tastes good and I need to do quality checks, so this will be between us. That brownie was perfect. It was fudgy and the bits of raspberries kind of just melted into the batter. So it has like this fruitiness to it that's delicious. I think he's gonna love it. Uh, there's just two of us, but I'll pack three. An extra one for me. All right, all the food is done. So now I'm gonna pack the picnic basket, pack up stuff for the baby, get the stuff for the dog, and then we're gonna head out. I'll get our wraps our salads, brownies, of course you have to have some strawberries, and I've been really into kombucha lately, the spreadable goat cheese that I'm obsessed with, some birthday candles, a lighter, some fresh bread, I think that looks good. Now, you guys know how I pack that bread and goat cheese? Here's what I love to do for a snack. I'll take a slice of the bread, spread on a nice helping of that goat cheese and then I'll just layer some tomatoes on top. This is the perfect picnic appetizer and it has so much freshness and flavor. Mm -mm. It's very au français with some rosé. Cheers, you guys, and happy birthday to Nate. It's not complete without birthday candles, right? We love going on picnics, and it's a fun time for Ollie to play with his frisbee and his papa. But Erisy and I just like to chill with the food. It's actually her first picnic, too. Hope you like it, baby. I hope you guys had a fun time watching our picnic, and I hope it inspires you to go on your own. Leave a comment below on what kind of picnic you like to have and what food you like to bring with you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!